checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another Zen Crypto video, guys. We're going to talk about the price of Zen specifically on one particular chain today. Um, of course, you guys know that I am super bullish on Ethereum Zen. That's the one that I'm accumulating most. I think one of the mistakes that I'm making is not giving myself more exposure to Zen on some of the other layer one, layer two popular chains. Okay, guys. Um, so... I've been looking at the Zen Burn dashboard. What you can see is the Zen Burns are in a steady uptrend on multiple chains. Okay, guys. Binance. You can see Avalanche clear uptrend. Okay. Um, Ethereum. It is going down a little bit in terms of burns. Okay. But that's probably nothing to worry about. Um, I know a lot of people are buying Zen as well. And, um, you know, I guess, uh, you know, uh, the ecosystem is... Slowing down just a little bit, not slowing down at a rapid rate. I say this is still a nice, you know, we're not seeing a downtrend, okay? And then we get uh, Evmas, Doge Chain, but specifically, if we take a look at Polygon, right? So Polygon, people are buying a bunch of Zen on Polygon. It's going absolutely crazy. This is M Zen, Matic Zen. It's going absolutely nuts, guys. It's just broken up at all time high, killed a zero. And um, this pump is just coming out of nowhere. And what you'll find is uh, Zen on Polygon, uh, sorry, Zen on Ethereum, the market cap is around 70 million, right? The market cap on Polygon is 1.2 million. So it's going to be able to pump very easy. It's very DJ and it's very low cap. It's very much more volatile than Ethereum Zen. It's only 152K in liquidity on this pairing. So um, really and truly, um, you know, I, I've not, I, I am exposed to Zen on Polygon. I'm exposed to Zen on Avalanche, um, Evmos, um, a bunch of other chains. I think the only ones that I didn't do, uh, the only ones that I didn't do was um, Doge Chain. I may have, I may not have done Moonbeam. And I know that I, I did Evmos. Um, I didn't do Ethereum Proof of Work. Um, but every other chain... I didn't do OKX, but every other chain I did do. Okay, so I am exposed. However, I got into these right at the beginning and minted as soon as the chains went live. I didn't do ZNFTs. I didn't do Zenturions, if that's what they're called. I didn't do um, batch minting on coin tools or anything like that. I just minted a wallet. Uh, sorry, I minted several wallets, but I didn't mint as much as you can mint in like one NFT, like 100 some plus wallets, right? So my exposure on these chains is a little bit, I'm underexposed in my opinion, okay? And I'm not sure what the percentage gains that we're looking at on this pump is because it doesn't tell you, right? Because of the, you know, the, the, the numbers are so high, it doesn't really tell you what the actual percentage is. 81 bars, right? But um, yeah, this is going absolutely crazy, guys. So I think, um, you know, especially as these begin to pull back, uh, Polygon, Avalanche, um, let's have a look, Polygon, Avalanche, uh, Binance seems to be pretty slow, um, I mean that would probably be a good place to start on a chain where it hasn't really taken off too much yet, right, on Binance, BZEN, let's take a look at the chart, okay, that is not the chart, let's take a look at BZEN, Zen Crypto, right, Okay, we're getting spikes in Binance, but the price hasn't taken off yet in Binance. Let's just increase the time frame. But it is in an uptrend. Okay, so getting some more exposure on some of these chains, layer ones, uh, and Polygon, for example, I think that will be a good strategy moving forward as well. However, you know, my main focus is Ethereum, it remains Ethereum, but I don't need to put as much money into these other chains. Um, because the multiplier, 1.2 million market cap. If this goes anywhere near 70 million market cap, we're looking at almost a 70x at this point. Okay, guys. Quick update on uh, DBZen. Okay, so DBZen, I did get into DBZen as state DBZen yesterday. Um, so one day's worth of fees I have here in Ethereum. Rewards. Let's just uh, have a look and see how much that is. Boom, boom. If we go to Ethereum, just in case you are thinking of getting into 
dbz okay price of ethereum is 1855 it's actually come down so this is going to affect the amount in usd it's dumped over the last over the over the last day so 44 dollars and 62 cents a day's worth of ethereum fees on 85.92 dxn that's approximately 0.5 percent 0.5 percent a day i'm not sure if it's going to be the same every day but um, that's what we've earned today, $44.65. So not too bad, not too bad. You're not going to get anything like that in the traditional uh, banks. <laughs> okay, guys, so that is, uh, oh, and as well, of course, with the price of DBZN, that fluctuates. Let's have a look at the price of DBZN or DXN. The price is $73. This actually pumped all the way up to $89 yesterday almost broke the previous all-time high just like i expected that it would um it's pulled back i expect that you know it will kind of flip this uh, previous resistance as support and continue up basically okay uh hopefully right volume is looking nice and um, if we could take out that previous high we're making gains on the upside on the actual dxn tokens as well okay guys so that is a pretty good investment at the moment we're making some passive income um i'm up in uh the, it's up in price since i bought it um it's come back down a little bit of course but um yeah if it goes back back up above 88 89 dollars um we're going to be breaking this previous high and potentially going to break the previous all-time high around 98 dollars. so this could potentially break 100 dollars, and we can see this going to the moon um market cap is 13 million Liquidity is 794,000. Um, this is my preferred, uh, especially on Ethereum network, uh, because of uh, the simple fact it's got more liquidity. It's more stable than some of the other chains. If you look at DXN on, uh, or DBZN on uh, another chain, for example, if we go to, in fact, let's just check out uh, DBZN on the Polygon chain as well, see what that's looking like. Okay, so we've got MDXN. So if you look at the liquidity over here, it's twenty nine thousand dollars, three hundred and sixty four k market cap, highly volatile. Okay, uh, which means it's not going to be generating as much fees, which means your payout is not going to be as much, and um, you know it's going to be way more volatile. Which means if somebody sells, it could dump. So you know uh, your exposure to the token is at risk. Um, yeah, the fluctuation is going to be a lot harder to deal with. So for me, with DBZN, the Ethereum DBZN is the uh, the best one to go for, in my opinion. Okay, guys. So, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, Avalanche is another one I wanted to uh, uh, look at and consider. Uh, I, I haven't done any of these as NFTs yet. And I see quite a few videos online. People are getting a little bit hyped about the Avalanche Zen. The Avalanche NFTs, NFTs. Um, that's something that I want to look at doing potentially as well. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to give you that update. Uh, Matic Zen, Polygon Zen. I don't know why it's going so crazy. Um, it's the chosen one right now. But um, I want it FOMO personally. Okay, guys. Uh, I just think that when we see, uh, you know, Zen on various chains going crazy, the other chains are going to catch up. And um, I expect Ethereum to go absolutely wild as well. Okay, guys. So... Uh, that's about it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. And uh, I will see you in the very next video.